What are we gonna do today? We are gonna do something really fun and a little different. This is called a puzzle purse. And it was back, I think I wanna say it was the 1700s, the old Victorian times where they would make a fun little love note or write something to someone and they'd fill all the little parts up with different graphics or they would use watercolor and they would write little notes all over it. And you can see the front, it goes together, but when you open it up, there's another little message in here and then I, I type some fun little things here. And then when you open it up again, you have more notes, more images, and the puzzle part is, can you figure out how to put it back together? And that's what made it really, really fun. So today I am gonna show you how to do this cute little fold and how to decorate this up. You know, I thought about doing a template and I thought, nope, you guys, I'm just gonna teach you how to do the folds and show you how I stamped and where I put my things so you can do your own and make it creative and make it personal for whoever you wanna send it to. So let's get started. So what I'm using here is some manila paper because it's a little bigger and I'm doing a nine by nine inch square. The one thing to remember is you need a perfect square and you're going to have to divide it in three. So that's why I thought I'd use nine by nine inch. You now if you wanna make it really simple and do seven and a half by seven and a half, then you're going to have, I believe it's two and a half inch squares. So that's how large it'll end up. A third is how large your, your pocket will end up. Um, the manila paper is just a little stronger and I found when I was stamping or if you're doing watercolor, it doesn't go through as bad and it doesn't, if you're using regular copy paper, the ink wanted to go through and show through the other side. So you want to use something just a little stronger than copy paper, but not so heavy that you can't get it folded. So let's get started on this. And what I am doing is I am going to lightly score here at three inches. And if you don't have a scoreboard, you can just uh, mark your lines, draw it, and fold it. And I'm just gonna do this first, real, real lightly. You don't wanna do it too hard or you rip right through your paper. Okay, let me get this little guy out of the way. And I don't know if you can see these score lines, but they are on there. First thing I'm gonna do is fold my paper in a diagonal. So you have a triangle. And I'm gonna open it up and do the same thing the opposite way. And you're gonna know real quick if your paper was cut correctly or you did it right, because you're gonna have little edges. They're not gonna quite fold up as nicely as you'd like. So this next part is where you're gonna fold it in three. And since I have my score lines, it makes it easy. There's one and two. Turn it the other way. One and two. And there's one more fold. So this really isn't too bad. So right here in this corner, see this one, two, three squares that go up. I'm gonna take this corner and go into the second one. So it touches that corner. Open that up, do that all the way around on all four sides. And once again, the better you line it up, the better it'll go together. Don't ask me how I know. So after you folded this on all four sides, what I would do is take it, turn it over, and do the same thing on all four sides. And when you're putting it together, you're gonna see why that is gonna make a really big difference trying to get it put together. So after you've gotten this fold folded both ways on both sides, what you're gonna do is grab your corners. And I know my four corners are gonna be sticking out and you're gonna have a nice square at the bottom. Now, if you can see how I'm turning it, it just turns like that. It's open, now it's turned. And then it's nice and flat.
last part, you're going to bring each one of these up. I'm bringing that up, and it's gonna be at that corner. Fold that down. Bring the next one up. Now if you've kind of got that little tricky part mastered, this is like such an easy fold to do. Now this very last one, I am just gonna stick underneath of here. Voila, we've got our little piece. Now the fun part, we're gonna start decorating. So the first thing I'm gonna do is work on the very, very front. Um, there are a thousand different ways you can do this. I wanted to add some words in here and add something into the center. Um, I'm just using this little border. You could draw just a little frame and add words. Um, there's a hundred different ideas. You could do another cool image. You could do someone's photograph on there. But this is what I'm going to do and I'm going to use one of my stamps and just do this cute little border. But once again, you can use anything you've got. I'm really kind of just showing you um, the stages on decorating it. So I'm just gonna put it right here in the center while it's all folded together. And I'm gonna do one more on the other side. Okay. And then what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna put a heart in the center. And I just made a little template because I wanted to use another stamp over that so I'm just masking it and I know this will fit right here in the center so I just cut it out like that and I'm actually going to use my cute little IOD stamp and I'm really going with the the golds and the blues for this project but of course it's, if it's for Valentine's you can do reds you can just use whatever you would like. Now you have to hold it very carefully and press down well because you're going through so many layers um, and folds that you want to make sure it gets in there really, really, really well. And there you can see, I have that. And I could have gone darker, but I'm just going to leave this just the way it is. So just make sure, I'm just going to make sure it's nice and dry. And now I'm going to open it up to my next stage. Now at this point, if you wanted to, you could start writing words. Um, on here, I actually, when I was completely done, took my paper out and went through my typewriter, moving it back and forth and typing this. The days, the days I prayed for the things I have now, I still remember. So I just, that's just what I wanted to put on the front and put one piece of it on each side. So now we are going to do this part. I'm gonna open this up to show you what I did here. So once again, I am, and I know that this is the top of my heart, so this is facing forward right here. I am going to use this little border again, but once again, just use whatever you've got or whatever you like, or just draw some images. And you can see on here I put the tree, but I wanted to leave some room for some words. So I just put my tree right up in here. There you go. Okay. Now, only because I know this and I and that's why I'm showing this to you. This is where I was going to put more sayings or writings. You could just leave this on the edges blank or I just stamped right on the edge and knew I had room. So let's just do that so you know your boundaries on this. And I'm just taking this other little stamp I have here and I know I'm really just gonna use the left side of the stamp and just go right over the edge. Right there. Definitely have paper behind it. There. And it gives me a lot of room to write. So 
So when I stamped them on the sides and I was saying the boundaries, I just know because that's where the fold is. So if it's folded, you're not going to get any further. And then you can also tell where that goes and it gives you room so you know you'll, where you'll be writing. So now what I am going to do is if you want something stamped on the back, you don't need to. I wanted to. So I would fold these edges in. And I am going to stamp the back. And it does get kind of thick, so kind of got to hold it carefully. There we go. And I also am going to have a nice, perfect square right there that outlines it. So let's get to the inside. So I'm going to open this up. And I want to do this big square right here. And you can see, there we go. So what I'm going to do to make it easier, you can either mask it all off, or I am just going to fold this square on these lines. Once you get it down, fold it down tight enough that it doesn't come popping up on you when you're trying to stamp it. And this is one of IOD's older stamps, because I always have so many people asking me, and it's called um, Ode to Pierre Boulevard. So you'd have to see if someone still has this one around. I love this stamp. Try to hold this as flat as you can. Okay, I'm gonna let this dry just a second. So you can see how these are lining up the same. I just did the large square, not the small square in the center. Right here, and I'm gonna do my birds next in the four corners, and I want them facing each other, so I'm gonna do these two this way. And actually, the first thing you wanna do is I'm using a sticky note pad, and I am just going to mark this line, and you could probably do it real carefully. I try, but apparently I can't. So at least it's kind of marked off and I'm not going to make a mess on the rest of it. So I'm just going to put my bird right in here. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. And these are my IOD stamps that I'm using, and I really love this bird. Okay, now you can see what we have here is this is where you're going to write words or add whatever else you want to your, your piece. And on the back side, turned it over, and all I'm gonna do is just add some color into these four blocks. And you don't need to do that, but you can. I just like to have it all completely finished. So I'm just gonna fold this and this, and I'm gonna do these two squares, and what I'm gonna do is just block this off and this is blocked off right there. And I am going to use my gold again. So the only other thing I'm going to do is add something in these little corners. And I'm going to use this same floral stamp. But when it's folded up, you see here's the heart. So you have to be really careful. And what I know is where this line would go straight across, 
is where you have to go. Because if I go any further up than this, it's going to be on the front of this. So all I am going to do is just take a little bit of florals and do it here at the bottom. Just this bottom right hand corner. And believe it or not, this is really done except for all the wording. So now you have to decide what you would like to write in, whether you're going to use your typewriter, you're just going to uh, decoupage words into it, or you're actually going to hand write it. And let me show you where I had put my words. I typed some things right here and right here above this bird. And same thing, right here and right here above this bird, but you can put it anywhere you want. This back side, I used everywhere that I had this floral long edge. I typed all my words in here and in here and in here and in here. One thing easier about handwriting it is you're not turning this into your typewriter one way and then the other way and then finding the next way. So when I folded the tree up, I typed right in here also. But anywhere that you have a blank spot that you would like to write something, you should. It's right here. And then when we fold the whole heart up, you can put the words around here. And believe me, handwriting it really would be a lot faster than typing it all out. But there you go. Now you can make your own special puzzle purse for anyone that you would like and add your own embellishments, your own words, make it a wonderful love story. Thanks guys. Have fun.